This Friday, you can see three of the funniest guys in Hollywood, Steve Martin, Owen Wilson, and Jack Black, together on the big screen. Recently, they spoke with CBS News correspondent Tracy Smith about their new movie, and she joins us here this morning to talk a little bit about it. Hi, Trace. Good morning. So the film is called The Big Year, and it takes place in the world of competitive bird watching. <laughs> now, I know that sounds made up, but it really exists. When I met up with the three jokesters in Central Park, I soon realized that the thing they're most competitive about is laughs. Kenny Bostic, uh, this is my friend, Brad Harris, who's also not doing a big year. Big foot of goose! Big foot of goose, other end of the boardwalk! So, are you guys the new three amigos? Three bird watching amigos, yeah. I think is what Steve <laughs> will correct you to say. I think the amigos are written in stone with Marty Short and Chevy Chase. Wow. So, that's sorry sort of guys. A, I don't know. It's not a bad sequel, though, is it? We're the three amigos! <coughs> when you got the script about competitive bird watching, what were your thoughts? Well, that was the key, competitive. Just bird watching. Let yeah. me tell. <laughs> <laughs> it was the competitive part. It was the competitive. What about the bird about watching part? About bird watching. I was fascinated. And it's sort of, it's sort of a metaphor. Uh, this I'm interested in. Metaphor well, for what? I don't have much to. <laughs> <laughs> I was sort of ending it after. It's sort of a metaphor. Yeah. I think of it as an analogy. <laughs> it's about m three men locked in a battle of wits and, and brawn and skill. Think like him, act like him. One of us has to beat this SOB. Yeah. How competitive are you guys? Who's the most competitive? Jack. Jack. I am, I'm, I'm obsessively competitive. I like to win. I'm a competitive interviewer. Interviewee. You can say that. So I'm like really trying to win. Yeah. You need, you need to dominate this yeah. interview. Yeah. How do you think he's doing? Score so far? Uh, I'll tell. I think I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a calliope? Nah. Sorry to disappoint you, boys. Again. This movie is is really about self discovery. What have you discovered about yourselves along the way? One of the biggest uh, discoveries for me that actually changed my outlook about myself and, and my career was that my career wasn't going away. You know, I was a, kind of had, had a big splash as a stand-up comedian, and then I did some movies, and I thought, is it over? Is it gonna be over? And then at a certain point, I accepted that it was actually not gonna be over. And that really changed my outlook uh, How on so? my life. I could relax, and I, I realized that, as you know, you you get very when you start out, you're very sensitive to critics and bad reviews and things, and then you realize that no, your your career uh, does go on. How about you guys? Uh, well, self discovery. <laughs> Jack has a good self discovery. Do I? <laughs> you, is that a pass? pass. Uh, let me think here. <laughs> I've discovered that. Uh, um, Anyway, Je I think Owen has a good story. <laughs> Life is what happens while you're making other plans. Good. Good. You know, you know I you saw, I saw your embroidery that you did that had that on that. I thought that was really nice in your trailer. <laughs> well, you guys, I mean, you're working with a, a, a legend here. I hope you don't mind that word. Uh, How dare you call me a did legend? Did you have... <laughs> Did you have expectations coming in of what this would be like? And Well, I felt sort of, you know, I was just happy to hear that when Jack and Steve were going to be in the movie because it sort of takes some of the load off. You can imagine how I felt when I was uh, learned that I was going to be working with two actors who aren't legends. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what is this going to be like? What's this going to be <laughs> like? <laughs> The whole idea of the big year is you, you take a year off to count the number of birds. If you could take a year to follow your passion, what would you follow? What would you do? Um, I would like to uh, go on a spiritual uh, journey. Yeah, I'd like to take some time to just do some meditating and getting, getting back to nature. I think I would uh, relax. Uh, and not do too much special except see my friends. So the passion you'd pursue is relationships. Relationships, really. yeah. Relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I think I would like to maybe try to swim in all the oceans ah. mm. and seas. So travel around to all those and be able to say at the well, end. You can start right here. <laughs> you can start in Central Park. Yeah. I feel like that would be a big week, though. Yeah, the oceans, there's only and five, seas. Right? And oh, seas. And seas. Well, then maybe just visit all the 7-Elevens. <laughs> that would take at least a year. In Texas. <laughs> it could be the big year of the big gulps. Yes. You know, all the, <laughs> the landmark 7-Elevens. 